things I shouldn't know. Good morning, Stephanie Cameron, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whisper of the Day. It is Thursday, September 8th. All right, we're going to start with the SPY, which is stuck in between the 4 and the 8 EMA. So if it becomes unstuck, we're going to be bullish above 401 and bearish below 395. By the way, 395 is a very heavy dark pool level as well from a while back 394.45 was 20 million 395.87 was 35 million so we're kind of stuck in you know in right near two massive levels right that 389 390 and the 395 so let's see where the spy wants to go and uh, let's switch it to sorry my computer's a little bit slow today. IWM. We're going to be bullish above 184 today and bearish below 180.50 for the IWM. And for the Qs, we're going to be bullish above 302 and bearish below 297. The Qs had a pretty big level yesterday, 3.2 million at 292.97 so we'll look at that for the swing but uh, let's check out the futures all right e-minis we are uh oh, it's not switching so fast here i'm gonna i might switch over to my i'm gonna switch over to my thinkorswim yeah it's definitely faster uh bullish above 4020 for the e-minis right above this r1 and we're going to be bearish below 39 48. Keep in mind that big whale trade at 4,000. Okay, that was pretty big. NASDAQ futures, we're going to be bullish above 12,425, above this R1. We're in a box of pivots on all these stocks right now. So we'll see. We'll see if Powell can get us out of the box. Pun intended. All right, bear below 12,150. Let's check out oil. Bullish above 82.25 today. That was a retrace trade, which looks like it hit a couple targets. And we are going to be bearish below 81 for those oil futures. Let's uh, check out. Oh, I got loud stuff here. Okay, we'll check out the gold futures. Ooh, the gold popped and dropped. All right, we'll see. It went right up to that R1 level. We're going to be bullish above that. 1740. That's why I chose that 1740 level. There below 1720. If we go below person's pivot, all right, so this is the down trade and this is the upward trade for gold. Let's check out those Bitcoin futures. We're going to be uh, bullish above 20,100. I went all the way up here. There below 1860. Five zero below S1. All right, let's go to the individual stocks. We're going to go to NEO. Bullish above 18 for NEO. All right, going for this pocket right here. And we're going to be bearish below 1697. Thank you, Paul, for uh, mapping that out. Yeah, thanks to Ramey, Patty, all you guys that have been map mapping out stocks this morning. Appreciate that. Tesla. Bullish above 286. All right, I went in between the pivots. Um, and then bear below 282.50. And uh, looks like we're headed there right now. Bearish below. Bed, bath, and beyond. Yeah, that was a great retrace yesterday, right? Beautiful move. What is it going to do today? Well, we're going to be bullish above 851. All right, that's my level. And bear below 750. Downside trade is really looking much nicer. There's a bigger pocket there. FXI, bullish above 29.53. I went up pretty high on that. Bearish below is the easier trade, 28.50. Just be careful. S1 is at 28.41. So you could go short below there as well. I just wanted to go in at that 50 level. GameStop, bullish above 26.50. And bear below 
25. Let's check out where it's at right now. Yep, C25 is right at that R1 level, so if it can't hold it, look out below there. And next is Apple. All right, didn't move much yesterday. Let's see what it does today. Bullish above 157.25. Bear below 155 for Apple. AEO, looks like it had earnings and they didn't really like it too much. We'll see if it can pop back up again. Bullish above 1050. Bear below 980. And we got plug. Plug, we're gonna be bullish above 28.20. Okay, right about this above this R1 and bear below 20, um, 26.80. Okay, below this person's pivot. It's kind of in a pivot box as well. Yeah, a lot of these stocks. Are you guys seeing a pattern here? Yeah, AMD also in a pivot box. A lot of Camarillas. Uh, bullish above 81 and bear below 78.75. There you have it. Those are your whispers for Thursday, September 8th. Until next time, happy trading, everybody.